Hi guys, Sai is here back with another interesting video and today in this video I'm gonna talk about top 10 Shizuku supported apps. If you don't know what is Shizuku, how it works, I already made one video on this topic. So first of all watch that video, after that you are good to go to watch this video. And if you are new on this channel then definitely subscribe our channel and join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, let's start with first uh, Shizuku supported app. The app name is Triple P. That means phone profile plus. Yeah, guys. So what does this app do? So this is the automation app. So you can set a different type of profile. Uh, like here it is a different type of profile app. Uh, profiles is here. So as we can see here, it is a battery saver profile. So you can set according to your requirements when your battery saver profile is enabled or a different type of profiles is there. So according to your desired requirement, like if my battery is very less percent, like I have only 5% in my battery, then I will shut down all the sensor i want to like uh, shut down all the sensors dim the brightness or uh, set the bright uh, set the screen time to 15 second like that so you can set this all type of automations on that profile so you have a lot of profiles according to your desired requirement you can set different type of profile and when you need you can use it like if you going to tuition or whatever where you are going then on that situation you need to enable dnd mode or your phone on vibrate mode so you can set this all things on any profile and you're good to go to use automation profile okay so this is very interesting very useful application for automation okay so simple setup is very simple first of all set up your shizuku and after that go on this authentication management and you need to enable toggle of that triple p app okay so first install triple p app okay after that uh, set up shizuku and open shizuku and authorize that triple p app now talking about next uh, shizuku supported app this is color blender yeah guys i already reviewed this app on my best rooted apps video so if you don't watch that best rooted apps video so definitely watch that video very interesting okay so uh, in color blender you can set different type of colors like that i uh, previously it is on wallpaper based color i set a uh, red color right so it can it will appears like that you can set a uh, saturation levels here it is a three level of saturation so you can set according to your desired requirement okay and here it is a different type of style is present tonal spot is already set and here it is a different type of styles is present so set it okay then uh, here it is a different type of settings is present okay so my color blender is activated uh, based on my shizuku okay so you can use color blender on uh, on root also okay so here it is as we can see on the top of the right side that uh, love symbol is there then so how i set that love symbol so simply i use this carrier uh, van vanity name app so this is the uh, app which uh, enable this emoji or you can set any uh, emoji or name whatever you want simply type uh, that name or emoji on here and simply click on set option then that um, emoji name whatever you said that is set set it okay so after setting this confirmation is mandatory after getting confirmation uh, that emoji or name is enabled successful but here it is not enabled you need to reboot uh, or restart your ui after that that thing is applied okay note this point now talking about uh, next uh, very interesting application sizuku supported application this is system ui tuner here it is this app contains a lot of features and what this app do they on this app you can set you can uh, enable a hidden features you can see you can set you can enable you can apply different type of hidden features like that here it is i am enabled this uh, freeform windows as we can see uh, in my rom that freeform window option is not there yeah guys i am enabled that freeform windows with this hidden tweak application with the help of this system ui tuner yeah guys this is very interesting you can get a lot of features on this app a lot of hidden features which is not available directly on our settings app okay so here it is a different type of settings is there you can 
चेंज द साउंड ऑफ अनलॉक और लाइक क्लॉक साउंडस वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑप्शन डेवलपर ऑप्शन इज प्रेजेंट इन एबल ए डी बी इन एबल वायरलेस ए डी बी लाइक दिस एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट डिस्प्ले यू कैन सेट अ स्क्रीन स्क्रीन टाइम लाइक डिवाइस लॉक टाइम अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टाइम लेवल यू कैन सेट अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर डिजायर रिक्वायरमेंट या गाइज एंड यू कैन सेट बैटरी सेवर ट्रिगरिंग परसेंटेज या गाइज अवर डिफॉल्ट इज आई थिंक फाइव परसेंट और फिफ्टीन परसेंट बट यू कैन सेट अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर डिजायर रिक्वायरमेंट या गाइज दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दिस इज हिडन वीक एंड अ लॉड ऑफ फीचर्स इज देयर लाइक यू कैन सेट फॉन्ट टेक्सट साइज वॉट एवर वी कॉल टेक्सट साइज एज यू कैन सी हिड इट इज आई लेट वॉट ओके Uh, wait some seconds i am going to apply this as we can see i am going to increase the size of this text as we can see here it is that so you can apply different type of tweaks and talking about display on display you ha you have a uh, lock screen orientation option is present night mode with a schedule is present yeah guys schedule is already present on our settings but here it is that tweak is also present talking about cellular here it is disable sms short code configuration custom sms limit you can set limit yeah guys this is an uh, interesting and talking about uh, one of the favorite uh, my option that is miscellaneous on miscellaneous if you enable um, like if you enable that um, this um, flight mode that means you can set different type of task i mean different type of settings when we apply flight mode then we can uh, disable wi-fi or bluetooth we can set it as enabled when flight mode is enabled yeah guys when we enable flight mode then wi-fi and bluetooth also disabled so you can set it as enabled but flight mode on network is gone i mean network is disabled only so these things are present a lot of features is decent like bypass storage is also present on lock screen or different type of options is present on ui a lot of features is present these all are hidden tweaks this is not available on our primary settings yeah guys these all things are not available on primary settings these all are hidden settings tweaks whatever we call now talking about next application this is fv file manager yeah guys so what is the um, this file manager do so you can access adb yeah guys you can access o i mean uh, you can access obb so so obb folder here present you can uh, delete or paste files on obb folder you can uh, you can take uh, your action on obb folders okay so this is very interesting useful now talking about next application this is i double z y on droid so this is the client of f droid we can call it as a client okay but uh, he on this application you can get a lot of open source apps and what is the uh, main uh, thing of this um, app store yeah it like it's like a play store yeah guys if you if you like any open source app and if you want to install then you can you no need to download separately on, and you need to install it again it just if you like any uh, uh, if you like any app then simply click on install that is that's it it can be installed directly it can install like play store as we can see i installed vi uh, re music and as we can see it is directly installed yeah guys our music is directly installed we no need to download it and again we go on file manager and we need to install it it is directly installed like play store so i like this app okay now talking about next application this is a dnd application yeah guys if you want to uh, enable dnd when you opening any app like if you are studying on any app or you can attending lectures and when you open that application you, the dnd mode is automatically enabled yeah guys this is that app so with the help of this application you can enable dnd on your desired application where you want dnd okay so simply you need to click any application which you want on that application you want dnd add it that's it when you open that application the dnd mode is enabled as we can see uh, i am opening this and as we can see dnd is on when you close it dnd is off like that okay now talking about next shizuku supported application this is a tap tap in most of the custom rooms uh, i think not on most of the custom rooms in near to near all the custom rooms contains this option i guess but i think not it not contain all the all the in all the custom rooms but this tap tap uh, feature is available on pixel devices like that so that feature you can enable with the help of this application yeah guys you can set different type of options i mean different type of actions like launching any app or um, launch torch or take screenshot like that here it is two options is present double tab action and triple tab action so set it according to your device desired requirement like i said uh, screenshot 
for double tap action so you can set it if even your custom rom is not supported then you also support with the help of this now talking about next shizuku supported application is wireless debugging switch yeah guys this is a switch why this is a switch because it is a shortcut application of wireless debugging as we can see here it is you can easily enable wireless debugging it is like a switch it is like a uh, shortcut and you can also enable it on your uh, tile section as we can see I, uh, simply when i hold on this tile it it will open directly on uh, it will uh, directly open at you uh, debugging that wireless debugging option now talking about next very interesting application yeah this is shizu tools yeah guys this is very interesting here it is a lot of features is there but all features are not working but talking about some of the features which is i tested and working here it is the first feature is deblotter okay so you can deblot any bloatware applications or if you don't want that application and that application we can't uninstall it or disable it then you can with the help of this shizu tools on that tool section you can use this blot this blotware remove option this is a d blotter so with the help of this d blotter you can remove any applications any blotware applications but note that that application is not connected with your uh, system otherwise your device gonna boot loop so note this point after that you need to do format data or need to do flash room otherwise your device not can to be can't be boot note this point so this is very important yeah this uh, d blotter is very dangerous but very powerful okay so if you use properly then it is very useful if you don't use properly then it is dangerous because it will uh, it will uh, with the um, you, maybe your device gonna boot loop so before going to do any this like uh, if you want to uninstall any uh, app but note that that app is not connected with system uh, if you know that app is not connected with system then you are good to go to uninstall like browsers application is there like something something okay don't uninstall connected which is vendor that like that okay so now talking about next feature this is universal pip beta yeah guys this is a picture to picture yeah guys not exactly we can call it as a picture to picture working but it is like that like i am going to open my channel as we can see here it is i open my channel and simply um, i am going to enable picture to picture on my video so simply you can enable on anywhere on this picture to picture um, option i'm picture to picture feature but i am going to use this picture to picture on my video so simply when you tab on picture to picture you will get a notification click on that notification and after that you can see like that it is working fine but you are not able to do anything on that uh, picture to picture screen <laughs> okay just you can see it that's it you can't do anything okay you can uh, decrease the size or increase the size that is uh, you can do but nothing much more that like if you want to sh uh, i mean if you want to shut down that picture to picture you need to click on that notification again and after that you need to click on that square box that's it okay so this is the video if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care but note one point please like and share this video okay and also subscribe our channel you will get a lot of these type of updates in the future so goodbye take care